It's a bird. Go on. Oh, you see, it's not an elephant. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Sid, you can't get an elephant in a cage. I think he makes the joke. Oh. <laughs> Excuse uh, me. What sort of a bird is it, then? A cockatrice. <laughs> Big pun? A cockatrice. Cockatrice? Hey, you're one cocker too many. <laughs> it's a cockley too. Cockatoo! Oh, you mean you just call them a parrot? Hey, that's right, yeah. Oh, what are you going to call this parrot, then? Polly, that's original. <laughs> oh, that is just who we want to see. Oh, well, if it's tea on tick you're after, forget it. No, 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 look. We just bought the bird and we want to leave it with you. How do you want it cooking? <laughs> Don't want it cooking. Oh. It's our new pet. Oh, well, how was I to know? People eat anything these days. Look, we just want you to look after it until we finish class, OK? Yes, all right. Put it behind the counter. OK. Thank you, Your Ladyship. <laughs> Evening, Sydney. Hello, Mr Brown. Have a good weekend. Lousy. Got the mother-in-law staying with us. Oh, how'd you get on well with her, then? She's never forgiven me for marrying her daughter, and I've never forgiven her for letting me. <laughs> you know, last night, there was only one thing that stopped me putting my head in the gas oven. What was that? We're all electric. <laughs> oh, cheer up, Sid. Remember, when you feel things can't be worse, they can only get better. That's true. True. I suppose she has got a pop off sometime. <laughs> yeah. Bonsoir, Monsieur Brown. You're just the man I'm wanting. Me? Yes, can you help me? Well, I'll do my best. I have the big problems. Yeah, well, I'm afraid I can't do much about those. <laughs> no, not that problem. Oh, sorry. My life, she's a mess up. Is she? I mean, is it? What sort of a mess up? I tell you, last month I met this boy. Ah, an affair of the heart. This boy, Pierre, he keeps writing to me. Pierre? He's a foreigner. No, he's French. Oh. Well, never was to me. He's a... Never mind, go on. Henri has found the letters. Oh, the plot thickens. I'm not like a jealous man. Pierre? No! Oh, Henri. Marcel! He works with Henri as a consular. I'm sorry, I'm a bit confused. Who is Marcel jealous of, Pierre or Henri? Emile! I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> but there's another thing. He keeps telephoning me. Who? Pierre, Henri, Marcel or Emile? Jean-Paul. <laughs> I've heard of safety in numbers, but this is ridiculous. They're all after the one thing. My buddy. That's all they're after. Yeah. Well, you must just try and discourage them. Oh, no. I like it. <laughs> I see Pierre Monday, Henri Tuesday, Marcel Wednesdays, Emile Thursdays, and Jean-Paul on Fridays. That is my problem. What is? My Saturdays and Sundays, they are so dull. Ah, <laughs> oh, good evening, Anna. You're busy? No, no, no. no. You've just finished. Good. I have a grosser problem. Oh, not another one. Who is it? Hans, Karl, Wilhelm or Adolf? <laughs> no, it is my homework. Oh, sorry. Your question is asking, what is correct address for a member of parliament? Yes. I do not know where any members of parliament are living. No, the question means, how do you address them? What do you call an MP? Ah. I don't know that either. Right, Honourable. Jawohl. They want me to write it on the blackboard? No, not W-R-I-T-E, R-I-G-H-T, right. 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 Excuse me, please! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bloody chicken! Go ahead, you can do it, take away! Honey, what is going on? It is orangey. What is the matter with him? Oh, blimey, he has gone oranges! <laughs> 
please give me bananas. Jenny, good. Not open this door, I'm breaking it down. Ali, unlock the door. Oh, no. I'm not unlocking the door. Right, well, if you won't unlock it, I will. I have been warning you. Now I'm coming in. Bandit, ah! <laughs> what is the meaning of this? The meaning is... <laughs> some damn fool is opening the door just as I'm charging it. Mr. Brown opens the door. <gasps> Thousand apologies. <laughs> right, come over here, Ali. Now, what is all this about? That barbarian is calling me a hairy goat. <laughs> is this true, Ali? Yes, please. But this infidel is calling me the son of a cross-eyed camel. <laughs> Not true. I am calling him an illegitimate son of a cross-eyed camel. Yeah, well, it's not good enough. Ah, you want me to be calling him something worse? I don't want anybody calling anybody anything. Whatever your differences are, kindly leave them outside the classroom. Now, sit down, the pair of you. Come on. Ah, Taro. Aso. <laughs> Did you have a good weekend? Uh, spend the weekend reading book by Charles Dickens. Oh, which book were you reading? Uh, which, <laughs> which book were you reading? Uh, Oliver Twist. Really? <coughs> Do you understand most of the words? I understand all words. What, even the old English? Oh. No old English words in my book. Ah, must have been a revised edition. No, no. Japanese edition. <laughs> I thought it was too good to be true. Good evening, Master G. Still knitting away? Oh, no. I am the knit cardigan. <laughs> yeah, what I meant was that would... Uh, you, you misunderstood what I was saying. And you are being misunderstood what I am being knit. Look, why don't we just forget the whole thing? <laughs> good evening, Sue Lee. Not good for me. Oh, dear, what's the matter? I have lost my riddle lead book. Oh, good. Uh, I mean, bad luck. I rock everywhere, but not find it. Does this mean you won't be treating us to any of the Honourable Chairman's quotations? Oh, no. No quotations by heart. Chairman Mao, he say, in every process there's number one. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We know them. Ciao, everybody. Hello, boss. Only just made it. Sorry, boss. We had things to do. That's right. We just got a fantastic bird. Really? Does this bird have a name? Sure. Polly. Well, in future, kindly refer to her as Polly and not as a bird. Okie cokey. She's going to be very good company for us at night. <laughs> us? What do you mean, us? Well, we're going to share her. One night she sleeps with me, another night she sleeps with Max. I don't think I want to hear anymore. Why? You not like birds? Well, let's just say I don't like sharing them. Hey, I fixed something for you. You give me a fiver, we go get you a bird. Sure. What color you want? <laughs> oh, what color is yours? Mostly red, with a blue neck and a green dress. <laughs> ah, the penny's dropped. Where? <laughs> Polly is a parrot. Oh, that's right. What do you think she is? An elephant? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Sit down. What about the penny? No, the penny. Buenas tardes. Juan, you're late. Por favor. Never mind, por favor. You should have been here five minutes ago. Why? What happened? <laughs> Quiet! Quiet! Silencio! Thank you. Sorry. Why are you late? Uh, I tell you. My boss, where I work, he tell me about a horse who's going to win the big race tomorrow. Very clever horse. Talking horse. Juan, horses don't talk. Si, senor. He told me he'd get the tip straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> That's just a racing term. It's all right. Then he tell me to put my shirt on horse. You didn't? Nah. Oh, thank goodness for that. My shirt wouldn't fit the horse. Oh. <laughs> Silence! I bet ten pounds to win on the horse. Oh, one ten pounds is a lot of money. You could lose. No lose. Tomorrow, I'll be plenty rich. Muchas pesetas. Look, there's no such thing as a certainty. Si, senor. My horse is sure to win. How do you know? Ah, easy, I tell you. Big race starts at two o'clock, so right? Yes. Bookmaker, he tell me, my horse starts at ten to one. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the odds. Your 
horse will start at two o'clock, just like all the rest. He tried to cheat me. No. I go punch his face. You'll do no <laughs> such thing. Sit down. It's time we all started work. Now, just take the register to Miss Courtney, and then we'll have a look at your homework. All right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Miss Courtney, I've brought the register. Two absentees tonight, Ingrid and Zoltan. Oh, well, I've had a letter from your Hungarian student. Oh, has he gone sick? No, yeah, he's gone back to Hungary. Oh. Enter. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Courtney? Yes. What do you want? I'm Sheikh El Hamid, and I'm interested in your English classes. Oh, well, if you don't mind me saying so, your English is fairly good. Thank you. It is comforting to know that my years at Oxford were not wasted. <laughs> I would like my personal chauffeur to join your class. Oh, I'm afraid that is quite impossible. It is midterm, and students are not permitted to join halfway through a course. Rules are rules. I'm sure you could make an exception for a little donation of uh, uh, 2,000 pounds. <laughs> this isn't the Dorchester Hotel, you know. <laughs> This is an educational establishment. You can't expect us to bend the rules just because you plonk two grand on the table, can he, Miss Courtney? Well, of course he can. <laughs> Where is your chauffeur now? Outside. Will you come in now? <laughs> but he's white. People usually are from Glasgow. <laughs> But of course. But why do you want us to teach him English? Because I can't understand a word of what he says. <laughs> right, John? I don't mean that, but I don't understand it. You know what I'm a bit new, but. I don't suppose you can, mate. I've been telling you just going to hang about here. I shall burn a ten fudge you said it was going to do it. I'm sorry, Miss Porter, but I think the whole idea is ridiculous. I am supposed to teach English to foreign students. He sounds like a foreign student. Oh, look, wouldn't it be far simpler for you to just get another chauffeur? No, I couldn't do that. You see, Jock's father gave his life defending my father during the war. I feel I owe him a living. Yeah, well, in that case, why don't you make him very happy and give him a job in your harem or something? Don't be stupid, Mr. Brown. Oh, I wonder if you'd mind waiting outside for a moment while Mr. Brown and I discuss this matter privately. Not at all. The door, Mr. Brown. <laughs> now, listen to me, Mr. Brown. You are a teacher of English, and it is your job to teach English no matter who or what your students may happen to be. Well, actually, I Don't try interrupt. Now, remember that the Arabs are extremely wealthy. Who knows what other benefits they may bestow upon us? Only the other day I was reading in the paper about an Arab who was so pleased with the service at his hotel that he presented the manager with a Rolls Royce. Yeah, well, we are not running a hotel, Miss Courtney. Money isn't the be all and end. A Rolls Royce. <laughs> yes. Well, I suppose I could give it a try. Good. Look upon it as a challenge. I'll do my best. I wonder if you would care to join me in a cup of tea in the office, and then later on I'll show you round the school. How very kind of you. <laughs> well, what am I doing? Go away. You want to sing a bit here or what? <laughs> I'd like you to hang about. I'm going to try and teach you to speak English. Oh, don't it's all hot up, son. See me no part. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy myself. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, it's like a Tower of Babel. Can't you think of anything better to do than chatter to each other? Sure. Hey, we go for a cup of tea. That's a good idea. <laughs> don't do no such thing. Sit down, be quiet, and pay attention. 
Right, you'd uh, better sit in the, next to Anna. Okay. Hello, Hen. How's it going? <laughs> what is your name? Hamish Hector Dougal Donald Stewart McGregor. <laughs> well, I'll put you down as a joke. Oh, we like them. Well, as you can see, we have a new student. Ah, uh, is there over looking for help me as one of you, you know what I mean? Or as you see yourself, oh, okay, the new and all that haggis bashing nonsense. <laughs> oh, blimey. What language is he spitting? <laughs> Believe it or not, it's English. Ah, he's right enough, you know, he's right enough. If that is English, what language is it that we are learning? Uh, Mr. McGregor is speaking in dialect. I thought you said he was speaking English. <laughs> what? English, but with a dialect. Hey, I know all about them dialects. <laughs> you do? Sure, I've seen them on television. <laughs> Doctor Who and the dialects. <laughs> oh, that's dialect. Ah, okay, okay. A dialect is a form of speech peculiar to certain areas. Now, tell them where you're from. I am a jock. <laughs> what is jock? Oh, Master G, please, I am be know what is jock. Good. Would you like to tell us all? A jock is B, a funny story. Did you know that's a joke? <laughs> Mr. McGregor is from Scotland, which is part of Great Britain. Great Britain is comprised of England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. No. Nah. What do you mean, no? Not Wales in England. Wales in the sea. <laughs> I'm talking about Wales, the country, at the end of the M4. Ah, sorry. Wrong number. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to do with you for the moment. Oh, well, it's just such an accident. See, in that case, will just gang a war. Eh? Not ganging, <laughs> going anywhere. Just sit down. For a start, you can concentrate on your diction. Well, I don't have a thought. What are you well, for example, repeat after me, the fat black cat sat on the mat. The fat black cat sat on the mat. No, 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 no. Let's take each word separately, all right? Oh. The. The. Fat. The. No, not fat. 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 Black. Black. Cat. Cat. Sat. Shat. On the. On the. The. Uh, uh. Matt. Matt. <laughs> Good. Now try the whole thing. A fat black cat shine a mark. <laughs> now, well, you better just sit there and listen while I get on with the rest of the lesson. All right, do you ever please yourself, son? You're all right. Aren't you? <laughs> what are you doing? Having a dram. Oh, you fancy a touch of stag's breath yourself? Why, then? Certainly not. And I don't allow drinking in the classroom. Oh, I see. Well, help yourself to smoke if you feel like. No <laughs> drinking and no smoking. God, it's worse than being in a kirk. Precisely. <laughs> right, now, if you recall, I asked you each to write a brief essay on your various beliefs. I hope we've all done so. Suli, would you like to read us out your essay? What I brief. Firstly, I not believe in religion. Excuse me, Suli. The subject was what you believe, not what you don't believe. Firstly, it is necessary to make platform on which intellectual thought can stand. When building house, it is necessary to make firm foundation. Uh, excuse me, please. I'm not understanding something. Yes, Ali? What is it you're not understanding? I'm not understanding a word of what she's talking about. <laughs> I quite agree, Ali. Sully does rather tend to be dialectically verbose. Oh, blimey. Now I'm not understanding what you are saying. <laughs> Point taken. Uh, right, sit down, Ali. Thank you. Carry on, Suli, and this time stick to the point. I breathe everyone is equal in eyes of state. I breathe in Chairman Mao. I breathe in dictatorship of proletariat and suppression of capitalism. Ah, I... rubbish. <laughs> rubbish? Western world collapse and evil. Ah, we him and paddling your paddy field. <laughs> and report you to lay selection. Ah, shut your gob. <laughs> Kindly keep your remarks to yourself. Excuse, please. Yes, Tarot? Not polite, oh. To insult lady, oh. Please, apologize, oh. Get naughty. <laughs> Put up your fist, oh. Hi! Yeah! Okay, Harry Kiri, if it's a fight you want, you'll get one. You ready? Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, sit down. Honor. 
Must be satisfied off. Yeah, well, you can satisfy it after class. Sit down, Tara. <laughs> and as for you, I'd be obliged if you would keep quiet. <laughs> Thank you, Sully. I'll read your essay later. Um, Juan. Uh, si, senor. Would you like to read us your essay? Sure. I. What I believe by Juan Cervantes. Para servirle. So far, so good, eh? <laughs> yes, come on, get on with it. It's all right, it's all right. I believe in one God. And I believe in Jesus Christ, Spiritus Santo <laughs> Now, Jesus Christ, Spiritus Santo <laughs> was the first Roman Catholic. Oh, what are you on about your big chanty rasslap? <laughs> Por favor. He was Jewish. Por favor. Jock is trying to make the point that Christ was Jewish. No. He was a Roman Catholic. No, I wasn't. He was a Jewish. I punch you in your head. I'm like kicking you up at the back side and I kick you up the front side. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please be leaving something for me also. Okay, who's first? Yeah. I'm yes, I'm yes, sir. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. As for you, if I have any more interruptions from you, yeah. out you go. All right, all right. Not a word. Stum. Good. <laughs> I go on, sir. I? No, Juan, your beliefs are just as controversial as Suli's. Por favor. No, it uh, doesn't matter. Sit down there. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try you, Ranjit. I am believing that all men are being born equal. Oh, no! <laughs> Chuck, I have warned you. Oh, come on, Jimmy. I can't be expected to sit here and listen to Charlie Chapati claiming his mate. <laughs> <laughs> what is he calling you? Nothing, Randy. He's calling you Charlie Chapati. <laughs> oh, well, the same goes for you, takeaway Tommy. <laughs> I'll give you a bunch of fiber! Come on, Come on, Come on, You can all go to tea break. Go on, then. Tea break. And as for you, you can just go to. Just go. Where is everybody going? Tea break. Well, do it quietly. Ah, oh, Miss Courtney, I'm sorry. I, I'm afraid I can't do it. Can't do what? Put up with our Scottish friend. He's a, he's a disruptive influence on the rest of the class. Mr. Brown, I am afraid that you must. I have invited the Sheikh to meet the Board of Governors. He has promised to give us a new school hall. I don't care if he's promised to give you the Albert Hall. Forgive me. I couldn't help overhearing. Is there some sort of problem? No. Yes, I'm afraid I cannot put up any longer with this chauffeur of yours. He's rude, self-opinionated and extremely unpleasant. And you can keep your Rolls Royce. <laughs> what an extraordinary man. Hey, you better wait in the car. Okay, Gaffer, just hang about and say the motor now, eh? Right. <laughs> that is a pity. I was quite looking forward to meeting your board of governors. And so you shall. But now that circumstances have changed. Well, circumstances may have changed, but the object of the exercise remains the same. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but uh, as far as I understand it, you wish to be able to converse with your Scottish chauffeur. Yes, but I fail to see how that can be achieved now. Well, every problem has its solution. And that is? He does as I tell him, or he gets the sack. I shall be taking you for the rest of the lesson, and I won't stand for any nonsense. What has happened to Mr. Brown? Mr. Brown is in my office doing some private tuition. Repeat after me. It's a bra bricked moon licked nicked the nicked. It's a bra bricked moon licked nicked the nicked. Very good. Try that. <laughs>